Welcome back to Dibble Arena, and we are at the half with a score of 37 to 26. Hilltoppers leading the Mean Green of North Texas. Today, WKU is honoring legendary Hilltopper Bobby Rasco. Recently, Paul just sat down with Bobby to hear his thoughts on his jersey being retired he, here in EA Diddle Arena tonight. Bobby, good to be with you, and congratulations on becoming the sixth, seventh Hilltopper it is now uh, to have a jersey retired in their honor and hang there in Diddle Arena. I'm, I'm very excited about it and, and thankful and feel very honored to um, have such an honor uh, as my jersey to hang in um, the Diddle Arena. I think that's probably the ultimate uh, thing that could happen to an individual. I'm very thrilled and happy about it and very blessed. And there's a lot of people that uh, I want to be thankful to, um, including Dr. Ransdell and all the university and you and to um, Todd Stewart and the athletic administration. So just want to say thank you and uh, to everyone that had anything to do with this. I think Coach Diddle would be pleased. Well, uh, it was a very honor to uh, have played for him. And uh, I uh, think about those days uh, quite often. And it was a lot of fun and a great enjoyment and great accomplishments uh, uh, getting to play here for Western. And you played with some good people. Uh, nobody accomplishes anything, I think, without good people around them, and you were fortunate to have played with some good people. Well, that's exactly right. I played with um, uh, Charlie Osborne and Harry Todd and Doug Smith and Mike Ridley and Daryl Carrier and uh, just on and on and on, and they all were tremendous players and certainly helped me uh, in, in my plan uh, that I did while I was here, and, and we uh, were very fortunate to have made it twice to the NCAA, and uh, were very successful there. We went to the final 16 um, in 1960 and 62. And you played, uh, and you played some very, uh, you played some. Uh, I think you got eliminated both. Let me just clear that out. You got eliminated both times. One, once by the uh, eventual national champion, and once by the runner-up, Ohio State. Well. That's exactly right. Uh, in 1960, we played them after that snowstorm trip that we got uh, hung up in in Louisville, and um, we we led uh, led them at halftime by about eight points. And uh, the game was still uh, anybody's game with about five minutes to go, mm -hmm. and then they kind of uh, took off from there and beat us. But they went on to win the uh, NCAA that year, and then in '62 in Iowa City, we played uh, Ohio State again, and uh, we. Um, they went on that year to be a runner-up runner in the NCAA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. It's an honor very well deserved, and uh, we're all very happy for you and your family. And now, back to you. Thanks for the interview, Paul, and congratulations to Bobby Rasco. And we'll be right back with a look at first-half stats right after this. You're watching the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network, produced by IMG for ESPN3.